Hi everybody and welcome to week four, our final week of the Old Testament. Oh, I, we wow. made it. I we know, it. yes, yeah, go ahead, give yourself a round of applause Yay! or pause, a pat on the back. And so before we jump into our longing for this week, Kendra, so Kendra and I, we've been your guides. We have been helping lead you through this study, but we have a really, really fun guest with us. And so we wow. thought who better to join us <laughs> for our halfway point, then our senior director of OBS and First Five, Melissa Taylor. Thank you, you guys. Yay! I have been chomping at the bit to get here. <laughs> I am so happy to be with you this week. Melissa, we're so excited to have you here this week. And so before again, we get into the longing, I have a really fun question to ask the both of you. Ooh, okay. okay, I want you to think about all the movies that you watched um, growing up, maybe it's Disney movies, Disney princesses, the classics, uh, maybe it's movies you've watched with your children, mm -hmm. Melissa, as well. And I want you um, to name and describe one or two of those movies. Okay. Okay. So one that comes to mind would be Rapunzel from Tangled. And she is a princess uh, locked in a tower and she just wants to explore the outside world and let down her golden locks mm. and just go outside her window. And you have golden locks now. Oh, yes. Yeah, to match yes. her. Yeah, yes. yeah, I love that. What about yes. you, Melissa? There's a lot of good music in that there is. movie too. If yes, we had time, we'd sing it. Right, we would, we, we would. Won't. Okay, mine isn't a Disney princess, but it's still Disney though. It's Finding Nemo. Oh. All right. And here's why I love this movie. I think it is such a beautiful picture of a father's love for his son. Mm. Because Nemo, in case you don't know, Nemo gets captured in, in the sea and ends up in an aquarium in a dentist's office, okay? Yes. And his father does whatever it takes mm. to find Nemo. Yeah. And that's what the whole movie is about. And I just think it's the perfect picture of really true love. I oh, love that's that. sweet. Okay, yeah. and then there's one more. Okay, go ahead. Uh, there's Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, and she wants to pursue her father's dream of opening a restaurant, but she gets herself in some sticky situations, and, you know, she's in the rat race of life of trying to do all the things, which we can all relate to, and so it's just a fun movie to see what happens. Right. Yeah, my husband and I actually just watched that for Ooh, the very first time. It also has great ago. music. It, it does. does. Her it voice does. is, mm -hmm. it's truly perfection. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. And so there seems to be a common theme amongst these. So we have Rapunzel, who's locked in a tower, um, Nemo, who is far, far away from home. And then we have Tiana, who's in this rat race, who becomes a frog. There's a lot that happens. <laughs> and so um, whether, depending on where they're at, there's this constant right. theme that they all are needing a form of rescue. Right. And so this week is all about rescue. Right. Yeah. Okay, right. and we're excited right. about yes. it. So as we enter into our final week of the Old Testament, we're discussing all things rescue. And Melissa, as she said, you are a huge Disney fan. Yes, Your yes. family loves Disney. We do, we do. So you're probably familiar with the whole theme of rescue, right? right? Yes, and because every there's princess always. movie, every fairy tale needs a rescue. Yes. Right, yes. right. And so what would you say to the person who thinks that they don't need rescuing? Personally, I feel like at some point, all of us need a rescue. Yeah. I mean, even when we're little, we fall down and we need help getting up. I mean, even when we're big, we fall down and we need help getting up. <laughs> I'd help. Yes, ice hello. Yeah. And <laughs> especially when we're ice skating, yeah. you know, and also if you have car trouble, yeah. then you need rescue. Yes. You need a tow truck or you need help, someone right. to come get you. But you guys, I also need rescue from my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow. I will just be thinking negative thoughts and I need someone to come in and get a hold of that and, mm -hmm. and give me a rescue. Mm -hmm. And you know, the thing is this week in our study, God's people needed and wanted rescue, yeah. but they were looking to people. They were looking to humans or, or man for that rescue, but truly only God can rescue us. And it was true for them and it's true for us yeah. as well. That's so good, mm -hmm. Melissa. And I like how you broke it down to make it very relatable with the mind. That's yes. good. You broke it yes. down to be relatable to us. Well, and I have some things for, that you can do right now. Oh, I love that. To kind right, of help it you, to okay? So when you need a rescue, everybody, here is what you can do, okay? Number one, don't be like the people that we're gonna read about this week. <laughs> call on God. Yeah. Let's do that first, go. okay? Mm -hmm. call, on, call out to God. The next thing you can do is go to his word because I know when I'm feeling distant or even when I pray to God, sometimes I'm the one doing the talking 
and I don't really know what God is saying back mm -hmm. to me, and I need some affirmations. And so get into his word. Mm -hmm. That is where you can find the assurance of the rescue yes. that, that he has for you. And then number three, you know what? Ask a friend to help you. That's why I love I being you. with you guys. God asked you. you know? I have asked y'all. Like, for real, help me. Yeah. Get me yeah. back on track. Yeah. Pray me up. I'm mm -hmm. having a hard time myself. Mm -hmm. But we're in this life together. God gave us people for a reason. Yes. And so ask a friend. Yes. That's right. Yeah. And there's a lot of you doing this study right alongside each other. So go find somebody on the blog or in the app and, and reach out and connect because we all want to help each other as we go through this study and as we live this thing called life. Yes. yes. All right. So we are switching gears and we are going to 60 second theology with our director of theology and research, Joel Mutamale. These have been great. They've like, been I really, I bet you guys are looking forward to this more than anything else. Because <laughs> yeah. every week I'm like, I love this. I know. Yes. We're like, and his stress level, it makes me stressed but excited. Right. <laughs> I'm being kind of honest. <laughs> yeah, to see him sweat a little bit. Right, yeah. right. So we are asking him this week to recap the Old Testament in 60 seconds. So cue the clock. Wow. Joel, hit it. All right, the Old Testament story in 60 seconds. The story is God with us. In Genesis, God is with the people of Israel, but then sin happens in Genesis chapter 3. And then God calls Abraham uh, to be his uh, follower. And out of Abraham turns the covenant family, the Israelites. And so from Israel, we follow their story. Israel's story is a story of slavery and captivity, but then God's gracious rescue because he takes them out of that and brings them into the promised land. And yet, sadly, even as Israel turns into the kingdom of Israel underneath Saul and David and Solomon and Jeroboam and Rehoboam, the kingdom becomes divided into two separate kingdoms. From there, uh, the story of Israel again has oppression because you've got Babylon and Assyria, and ultimately we end the book of the Old Testament, Malachi, with 400 years of silence. But the constant threat throughout the entire thing is that God has been with his people. Okay, girls, can we talk about how he actually did he that? He did it in 60 seconds. The yes. whole Old Testament. Oh, With right. a lot of kings <laughs> thrown in there. Like Rehoboam. Jeroboam. Jeroboam. When he said that, I was like, there's just no way. <laughs> right, yeah. I doubted, but he pulled through. He did it, yes. He was great. Yeah. Well, Hannah, something about Melissa that you may not know is she was in a lot of the online Bible studies videos back in the day. And one of our favorite things that she ever did. She made me sound so old. No. Sorry. <laughs> back in the day when, you know, the dinosaurs were roaming the earth, <laughs> Melissa made some videos. <laughs> but look at her now. I haven't been gone that long. No, and you're not even gone. You're not even gone, Melissa. That's a thing. Well, yeah. maybe a year or so ago, yeah. she played the part as a quick coach. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that may not have seen that, that's where Melissa really um, plays the coach and pumps you up. Motivates and, you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you get you excited. You got it, girl. Not to quit. Doing it now. <laughs> so we want the quick coach to come back for these videos. Okay. All right. But if I'm going to play the part, mm -hmm. I think I need to dress the part. Oh, well, great. Okay, we just got saying. you covered. Here right. you go. Okay. Look what we just happened to have. Here you go, coach. My old quick coach hat. There it is. Cap. Now, it says OBS because I've been the OBS quick coach. So just imagine that it says 40 days, first five in OBS, okay? Great. Here we go. Your All clipboard, right. nice. coach. Clipboard, because every good coach has a clipboard with, you know. The notes the or the notes. play. Yeah. Yes, on how to win the game. So. Right. And so, Melissa, tell our ladies how they can keep going, motivate them to continue in the study. Absolutely. Okay, you guys, you've made it this far, all right? We're halfway through. Keep going and don't quit, all right? If you were playing a football game, it's not over at halftime, all right? You still got the rest of the game to go. And let's say you're a little behind. No worries. Doesn't matter. Pick up where we are now. The bottom line is don't quit. Here's some ways to keep you focused, okay? Number one, make a commitment. Don't give up now. Mm -hmm. In the comments, you guys, tell each other, don't give up now. Get back where you are, just start where we are today, all right? Persevere. Number two, let's just face it, here's the reality, girls. It's gonna be easy to quit. Mm -hmm. This is, you're either doing this on the app or you're doing this online, and so there's not people around you. You cannot do your Bible study, maybe, unless you're in like a face-to-face -face group or an online study group or something like that. So you've got to be the one to keep yourself right. motivated and going every single day. It's going to be easy to quit, but guess what? Just say no to quitting, okay? <laughs> All right, number three, it's not called 20 days through the Bible. Oh, right? she went there. It's called 40 days through the Bible, you guys. 
So we're gonna do this for 40 days. So let's keep going, okay? And then lastly, this is a game you wanna win, yes. all right? This is what I told myself when I, I heard, okay, we're doing 40 days through the Bible. I can do anything for 40 days, mm. okay? 40 days is doable, so let's do it, okay? So no matter what's in the past, pick up, move on today. We are in week number four in our 40 day study. So let's keep going and finish strong. That's there that's you go. So good. That's all I have to say. That we should be like in a huddle, you know, like 40 days. And brace. Yeah. yeah. 40 yeah. days. Yeah. And now I think I'm going to go run a marathon. <laughs> Maybe oh. not. I probably shouldn't, but um, thank I'll coach you. you. I'll yeah, care exactly. for you yeah. on the sidelines. Yeah. I think it was so motivating um, and so helpful because life happens. And so we understand that mm -hmm. It may be difficult to keep going, but we know that God is going to do something so great in the next 20 days because we're actually going into the New Testament. So we um, will finish this week strong because we have some really awesome things in store for this next week and the weeks to come. So don't leave, keep going. We're so proud of you. And here at Proverbs, we have this saying and we're gonna say it together. Are we ready, friends? Yep. All right. So when we know, know the, the truth, truth live, live the, the truth, truth, it changes everything. everything. Bye, everyone. Bye.